Hello, people of the universe. Uh, this is the number one spaz, and I'm here to tell you that this is my liking. I like things. First of all, I'm going to start off with the gorillas. Yeah. So, this is my Gorillas Rise of the Ogre book. I waited for it, like, two weeks for it in the mail to arrive. I got it about... I don't know what time I got it, but it was a while ago. And it's super freaking awesome. And I love it. And usually when I love something, like, a lot, I make a character about it. So that's what I did for Gorillas. And I made Wolf. This is uh, actually the very first drawing of her I did. Uh, it's a super awesome Gorillas character that I came up with. Yeah, Wolf. Pretty cool. It's the first drawing. And I have a couple others, but here's the description. I will probably make a better copy of this. And this is all I have. It's uh, kind of a long, 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 long story. But, long story short, Wolf is actually my made-up character for the Band of Gorillas. And uh, she was found by Russell, actually, in when they were shooting in the graveyard for Clint Eastwood. Made up by me. Yeah, so not real, but real to me. These are some little, little things I made at... Yeah, this is wolf symbol. It's a wolf paw. Note, note. Uh, this is a little sign I did. See, it says I don't talk, but I can still kick your butt. Moral behind that is wolf can't talk. And if you notice, in this picture, wolf has a moon-shaped scar under her left eye. And a fang. Note, note, again. <laughs> Through time, since the gorillas are like time, time. She finds out that she can't talk because when she was very, very little, she was scratched by her father, who is a werewolf. She found that out. And the reason why she has the moon-shaped scar on her eye was because she is a werewolf. This is her uh, ID tag she wears pretty much everywhere she goes. It says wolf. It's to identify herself. This is what I drew for the Demon Days. Yeah. Pretty cool Demon Days album cover. Yeah. This is a little drawing I did of Wolf holding her sign. I don't talk, but I can still kick your butt. Yes, she's freaking awesome. Skull and crossbones there. Yeah, she plays a lot of instruments, starting with uh, drums, because Russell, that's the first instrument Russell taught her to play. And uh, Noodle actually taught her how to play guitar, which in this picture, I'm not finished with yet, but she's playing the guitar that Noodle gave her. It's called the Reaper. Yeah, pretty cool. And 16 is her favorite number, no one knows why, but yeah. And, um, when El Manana kind of came down, Wolf actually thought Noodle was dead, and obviously it's the first time every, anyone ever saw her cry. This was a note she left after leaving the crash site. It says, to all gorillas, I come back from the El Manana crash site with no luck in finding Noodle. However, when I came to HQ, it was completely destroyed. 2D was nowhere in sight, could not find Russell and Murdoch, is probably in jail. I did find something interesting at the crash site, some mysterious footprints leading west. So if any of you come back, I'm looking for Noodle. Wolf. P.S. Murdoch, do not do anything stupid. Russell, don't worry about me. And 2D, don't, do not, repeat, do not give in to Murdoch. Yeah. Wolf really cares about 2D. Wolf likes 2D. 2D's awesome. Here's a picture I drew for Plastic Beach. It's Wolf. She's like, kinda raggedy. There's a story behind her that I'm still writing, but yeah, she's losing her, she doesn't have her uh, ID tag because as part of the story, it gets lost. Yeah, pretty cool, piratey theme. Here's actually a colored one with her and Noodle after she finds Noodle. That's kind of giving away stuff, but <clears throat> yeah. She's with Noodle right there, back to back, ready to kick some butt. And here's finally Wolf's Plastic Beach Journal. It says a lot. 
going through her journey to find Noodle, and here's some notes she takes about the stuff. So Noodle is on the M Her Harriet in room 13. This is the uh, coordinates to Plastic Beach. This is the time where Noodle's ship gets shot down with the pirates. And then these are what Noodle, this machine gun is what Noodle has. Yeah, Wolf takes kind of a note. She's kind of persistent about Noodle because Noodle is like her best friend and practically almost sister. So yeah, for all you gorilla lovers out there, that's just something I wanted to share with you guys. So yeah, Wolf, pretty sweet. Say bye, Susie.